Okay, this is Earl Ofari Hutchinson. As you can see, I'm just going to pan a ram a little bit. I do this every year, my annual 4th of July from the top of the hill. Presentation, discussion. What is the 4th of July to us? As you can see in the background, it's America's birthday. It's America's day. It's America's day of celebration, of independence. Let me just pan, as you can see. We got about 200 firework displays from throughout uh, Los Angeles and neighboring cities. As you can see, it's spectacular from the top of the hill. What is the 4th of July to us? Frederick Douglass, 164 years ago, in a speech to the Ladies Auxiliary Society, one of them anyway, in Rochester, New York, Frederick Douglass had this to say, what to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days in the year. The gross injustice and cruelty to which he is a constant victim, to him, your celebration is a sham. I'm gonna repeat that again, the immortal words, the towering words, what is the 4th of July to the American slave? Frederick Douglass, what to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days in the year, the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. I'm Earl Ofari Hutchinson. Let's talk about the 4th of July as we pan in the back and we see the spectacular fireworks. The Declaration of Independence, July 4th, 1776. The Founding Fathers, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, the giants of the giants. They had one vision for not only the nation, the new nation to be, but also a global vision. Freedom, justice, and equality embodied in the Declaration of Independence, penned by Thomas Jefferson, and all of the amendments to the Constitution, setting up a new nation, freedom of speech, freedom from self-incrimination, freedom of religion, and it went on and on and on. All the freedoms that were spelled out. That Constitution has been a Constitution that has been modeled. The amendments, the freedoms, uh, the spirit of equality and justice spelled out for generations and generations after 1776 and of course the founding of the country in 1787. In addition to that, it was something else. Other nations have modeled their constitutions and their government after our constitution. It is a document for the ages. Jefferson understood that, Madison understood that, founding fathers, but there was one problem. As Frederick Douglass brilliantly and insightfully said, what does it mean to us, the American slave? Shackled, chained, brutalized, beaten, bought and sold, killed, maimed. And then a century and a half after that, Jim Crow, segregation. And we know all of the travails of that, the injustices, the exclusion, the brutality, the victimization, which still carries on today, 164 years after Frederick Douglass asked this immortal question, what to the American slave is your 4th of July? The Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the 4th of July, it embodies so much good, so much that we cherish, so much, so much that we hold dear and sacred, and we should. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom from self-incrimination, all of the freedoms that we cherish, and other nations too, have used as their model. But we cannot forget one other thing, in the immortal words of Frederick Douglass, the celebration for slaves and those who are held in slavery and denied their freedoms, denied equality, denied justice, then I think it's fair to say it is a sham. But if so, we're of a divided mind and divided body on the 4th of July. We celebrate it, we cherish it, 
We believe in all the freedoms that are embodied in the Constitution and we cherish. But at the same time, we are mindful of once again the immortal words of Frederick Douglass. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days in the year. The gross injustice and cruelty to which he is a constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. It's, it's both. It's a sham for those that are still oppressed, but for those that believe in the spirit of America, believe in fair play, believe in justice, believe in equality, believe in all the things embodied in what you see in the back, what we celebrate. It's a day that we are definitely going to make a part of our spirit. And we're going to continue to fight and fight and fight to make not only the spirit of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, not only the spirit of it, but the reality of it. I'm Earl Ofari Hutchinson. Every year I come to the site and I ask, with the backdrop of the fireworks celebrating America's birthday, as you can see, one more pan. What is the 4th of July to us? What is the 4th of July to us? What is the 4th of July to us? It's a question for the ages. It's a question that we, 164 years after Frederick Douglass, gave the speech of the ages. What is the 4th of July to the American slave? We're still today searching for an answer. I'm Earl Ofari Hutchinson again. My annual 4th of July reflection on what is the 4th of July to us? Thank you for joining me. Once again, as you can see, America celebrates its birthday today. Thank you for joining me.